Thank you, my people. Let me hear from Omoyes Kona. Omoyes Kona, thank you, my sister, for joining us. Good evening to you. Thank you for your patience. Happy Sunday to you. Hi, your body, your body day. Body day, Gidiba. We thank God. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Greetings to everyone um, on the panel. Mr. Alex, it's nice to hear your thunderous voice again. And um, I see Prof Professor Sia our very own professor and uh, Mr. Give Us Our Mandate. Greetings to you all and everyone in the panel section. Mr. Elvis, how you day? How everything day? How the weather? Everything. Happy Sunday to everybody as well. Mm. Yeah, I want to start by saying, so like play, like play. <laughs> all of us, most of us, we can see, may I speak for some of us, when we, we use candle, period for school and kerosene lamp and the times when uh, some of us feel upgrade to rechargeable lanterns lamps take read for school time of midnight reading 3 a.m reading manage graduate go through primary secondary Graduate without primary, you know, if you enter secondary, without secondary, you know, if you enter university. Before you enter university, they go ask you for your cutoff. You don't get the cutoff, you know, if you read the course when you want. Some some of us settled for lesser course because our brain or cash fire rich like that. We still they play that time. Hmm? We come finally make them, come go school, come suffer. Sometimes pocket money not the complete. We go manage. We we'll do sapa food for for hostel. Eh? We we'll do mix and join. Pamoy with crayfish, pepper. Doing instant food. They don't ready. Or when we feel like eating cake, we carry sand. Put for pot. Heat them up. Mix our dough. Put them for stove. Hmm? Cake go ready. Some of us plat hair to get extra money for school. Come manage now. Come finish the secondary uh, university. Come do NYC. Some of us had to go and do NYC away from our homes. Suffer. Go they climb rope. Go they jump things. Come finish that one. Come start to they look for work. If we lucky, work enter our hand. We know lucky. Some of us go stay out some years before work will enter our hand. By the sheer grace. And the doors that the universe opened, we're able to find our way out and make things better for ourselves. After all those triumphs, all those suffering, tears, everything, pain, inside them, for school, some people don't go let you rest. You buy handout from lecturer, everything. Then one man from nowhere, we don't know where he come from. We don't know him, Papa. We don't know him, Mama. Which family you come from? Who be in sister? Who be in brother? Who be in uncles? Which community? Where in community elder? We don't know anything about this man. In forge way, you don't get no certificate to show. They tell you say the man now has a teacher charm because brilliant geniuses now has they say they teach them. He come magically. Come the boast. Now he be the most recruited, intelligent. I had that one join another talker. Eh? Person ever. Here we are today. A man with no certificate, with no knowledge of who he is, sitting at, in the highest office of the land. He has no clue because it's evident. Every day he has been, he's dragging Nigeria further, further into the abyss. While the elders fold their hand and look. You see, say the elders don't put us for, they don't put us, they don't carry us trabaye, as they say in Nigeria. You see, say they don't carry us trabaye. The most spoiled generation ever, our elders. The worst generation ever, our elders. I'm telling you, look at what they are doing to us. How many fathers, most of you here are fathers, will see their child and take what belongs to that child, add it to your own, even as the child is thriving, take everything that that person is thriving uh, uh, on, empty the person of themselves 
which father will kill the seed before it even grows out of the soil? Which father here will do that? But your elders are doing that. Some, most of your elders. Because if we had a lot more elders coming out, I don't think it would be this bad. More, I have, I can, I can confidently say most of your elders have been put, have put, have embarrassed the country and the young. Nobody cares about the young people. Nobody gives a hoot. Do you know how many of them are dying at the ocean just trying to cross over just to get out of the country? People are literally trying to get out of that country, regardless of which way they get out, they want to. And then you have a governor of a state saying that when he comes in, he will send 4,000 of them out. Your young and thriving visionaries, transformative youth, in ingenious youth, creative youth you want to send send them out. do you have a contract with your colonial masters to send them free slaves we think that slavery is over it's not over it was never over what they did was put mds in charge of their companies to be sending your young sending your most hard-working most creative young ones out of that country so they make that land on comfortable for you they squeeze everything out of you so that you're frustrated you're pushed to a wall where you have to say you know what i gotta get out of here it's intentional nobody can tell me otherwise it's so clear now it's so clear and guess who signed that deal guess who folded their, folded their hands and watched this happen your elders your elders with white hair and white beard that know how to quote parable that they do not follow. The ones that, that have taken another man's religion and turned their own people into dummies because of the religion. On top of it, you see our people taking sides on one eye. Uh, yes, we fight for this. We fight for... Both of the people you are fighting for enslaved your, your fathers. Your fathers were circumcised during slavery. They did all manner of horrible things to them. And you are taking sides. Why? Because of a religion that was borrowed to you? I sit here sometimes, I just wonder, like, what the hell? I can't believe I come from that country. I can't believe. It's almost like I was asleep my whole time growing up in Nigeria, only to wake up and see the mess. It stinks to the high heavens. I don't even know. And then in spite of all, with all of this going on, you would expect that the Southern leaders will borrow themselves some freaking sense. They won't. You would expect that they will start to galvanize quietly and say, you know what? Let's do for our own people. Because clearly, these people don't give a hoot. As, as I grew up in Nigeria, from when I was a child to when I left that country, the South has been in a sinkhole. It just kept sinking further and further and further and further and it's almost in, uh, unrecognizable right now. Your southern leaders don't want to come together and think of how they can improve the lives of their people and make life better. Look at what Governor Oti is doing for crying out loud. That's to tell you that being a leader is not rocket science. Anyone, all of us, all of you here, you're all leaders. You can do more than what Governor Oti is doing. You have the capacity to do it. But you have a system in Nigeria that has been created to intentionally disenfranchise you. I want us to ask ourselves a question. Why is it that the, the South is the most impoverished part of Nigeria? You think it's You don't think it's intentional? Because right from time, the South have always been the ones agitated. I don't sit down and think this matter. Is it the Ogoni people? Is it the likes of Ken, Ken Sarowiwa, the Bielsa, the Niger Delta fight? Our brothers and sisters from the East. It has always been the South agitated before they carved out the East. It has always been a Southern fight. 
And then all of a sudden, your government comes propagandize the thing and claim it's Biafra and then sectionalize it. And our brothers and sisters from the East who, you know, now personalize that and say, yes, it's our, it's not just your fight. My, in, my Eastern brothers, it's not, it's about the South. Some of us had great grandfathers and father, our, our grandfathers are fought in, in the civil war. And let's not forget what the British did to the Edo people. Nobody talks about the Edo kingdom and, and how many, how much slaughter that took place during that era. Nobody talks about that. I don't know what the freaking leaders in the South are doing because to be honest with you, I, Nigeria being united is a scam. If this contraction that we call a country as it is right now, it's a scam. It's a scam against you, especially the Southerners. Can't you see that? It's a scam. You are the most brilliant. I mean, I'm not trying to put down anybody. Please, excuse me. I'm just talking out of frustration here. So with all due respect to my other brothers and sisters from the West, from the North, it's not about you. We know it's about the haves and the have-nots. We get that. But when you look deeper into things and you start to unravel some of these things and peel back the onions, there's so many layers to it. We have a lot of... There's a there's an adult person that's part of the... Uh, 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 what's it called? Um, NASA. He's a top scientist, for crying out loud. Adult people don't brag about their people as much as they should. And I'm not making this about Edo, because I really don't even think in terms of that. But we have bright minds, brilliant people. What are we doing? Look at the North. Instead of these people to be developing their people, creating an atmosphere for them to thrive, their communities are being ravaged. Ethnicities have been cleansed while everybody will fold their hands and watch the cleansing take place. Your, your northern leaders are organizing marriages with 850-something million. Is that not madness? And then buy them better no, so that they can have children for the next election. Please, make that make sense to me. And you have a generation that are going to come up that will be worse than the ones before. That's they're intentionally dumbing down the generation. Can't nobody else see that? They're intentionally, intentionally dumbing down the generation so that as the young people are coming up, they can't even be awoken because half of the history in Nigeria, half of us don't even know. I didn't know about the massacre in Asaba until recently. It's a shame, but I got to find out recently. Come on, what are we doing? What are we doing? Let's just call a spade a spade. If we cannot work together, can we start, can the voices be louder and say, you know what? We Southerners, we're tired. We have the wealth, but we suffer the most. Why is nobody asking those tough questions? I'm not saying any other region doesn't have their own wealth. Why are we suffering the most? Every, every state ought to have a thriving city. Two, three, four. Thriving cities, airports. Everything is funded. You don't need to go through someone else's city to get to yours. Why are we, don't we have southerners that are as, as, as they are mad with everything that's going on and vocal about it? Why? What is going on? Why are we sleeping? How long? Are we going to sleep for? How long? The more we try, the more they try to ensure that our northern brothers and sisters do not get awakened. They remain subservient. The harder we try. Look at this war that's fighting that's going on now. People are choosing based on their religion. Shouldn't be you, your family first. If problem comes to my family, it is my family first. 
I will take care of myself, my family, before I think about other people. This, these same religions don't even allow you in their prayer houses. I'm talking about my northern brothers and sisters. You go and pray in the mosque. They put you behind. It's an insult for you to, to, to come in front of them and pray. But yet you're choosing a side. Your, your dark-skinned people like you are, are, being, are being slaughtered every day, everywhere, hated everywhere. But yet you are choosing a borrowed religion over your own brothers and sisters. Religion has done a number on us. A number. I don't know. It's going to take a lifetime to, to, to cleanse the brains of our people. I'm not saying serve your God however way you can. But can you be analytical in your serving? Can you ask questions? Can you criticize? Even your God will appreciate you for criticizing. Don't you know that? When do you think he created you for crying out loud? We are hearing somebody who has a particular re religion of his forefathers that he soft, the man suffer, they practice in, in, in religion, they pray to the elders. They carry and go custody, ensure, say before the man come out, he accept full and dominance for Ilori. And we are quiet. We are we are at least we are just watching everything. <laughs> you guys don't think this is an agenda that's going to go around? I think it is. It's spreading. Did you guys see the video of Muslims playing on a, praying on an entire street? Nobody feel walk past. Nobody feel drive past. In Nigeria, people are claiming Fulani dominance. In and we say it's one Nigeria for real, for real. How about take your religion to your bedroom? I grew up with Northerners, and I'm not saying all Northerners are like this. Please don't misunderstand me. I had Hausa friends coming growing up how some people that i knew then very gentle mind their own business content people very content they have a depth of understanding about how life works the ones that we see now i don't know and it wasn't just how they have a lot of tribes in the north so sometimes i think it's fair when we just use a broad brush on everyone in the north because not they're not all the same they all have tribes just like we have tribes in the South, but they've been cleansed systematically and we are watching in broad daylight. The Fulanis, they've gotten to the West. They are taking over Western states. People don't know. They are taking over quietly. They are, they are, they are instilling their dominance. If we don't wake up, we might not have a country. You might not have a grandfather's home to go to, my people. You might not. I'm sorry to break it to you. You might not. We're getting real close to it. Everyone is watching while we unravel. And you are busy choosing sides with the same people who oppressed your ancestors for generations. We need to have sense and start to think strategically. Not be always one really do so. We need to be strategic in our thought process. We cannot, we need to be thinking unification on, on, on so many, whoever wants to unify better be trying to unify because this one we they do so, um, we are on a long thing. These people are literally robbing us blind. Millions. Look at the hotels they're staying in, in, in the, under the guise of traveling outside the country. All your 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 leaders, they're taking money, buying cars in your face. Like to hell with you. You can't do nothing. And they took hands. You see that picture of uh, 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 Tinumbu Amoda Ogunlere when he carry two finger like this. That's exactly what they are doing. They are choking it inside people's eyes. Or I yield, Mr. Elvis. Thank you very much. I just wanted to vent. Don't Thank stop you. my mind. Thank you. Thank you. That's why I didn't interrupt you as well. So I wanted you to just let it flow. I understand. I understand how you feel. Everybody's feeling the same. Uh, that's why we're coming out every day. 
everybody come to this platform every day different platforms the way we are talking i guess people are also talking right now on twitter instagram facebook tiktok everybody's talking you know so um let's keep talking in our time hopefully by god's grace we'll have a better nigeria you know our forefathers tried our fathers tried we are trying now i just hope we succeed you know i have a better nigeria that you and i can be proud of Thank <laughs> you.